Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing and flip through of a Pembroke planner. As you can see here, this planner I picked up from Aldi's for $8.99. And I just wanted to give you all, like I said, just a look at it. Um, If you look back into one of my previous videos and I'll link it here, I did another planner unboxing and I was doing planner layouts with a Pembroke planner that I also picked up from Aldi's and I believe that it was $7.99. Um, so I'll link that below so you can take a look. This one is honestly way more detailed and is more reminiscent of your more expensive big happy planners, which I have one of those as well. Let's see if I can do this one handed here because as always, as soon as I start to try to film, my daughter wants me to pick her up. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Uh, yeah, you gonna let mommy go through this? Yes. Okay, so take that off. So yeah, I was at Aldi's. Um, that's where I do my, you know, my weekly, bi-weekly grocery shopping. And I always go down their center aisle. It has like seasonal, seasonal items. And it also has non-grocery items. They've even added... I've seen clothing there, shoes, <clears throat> furniture pieces, so a lot of good stuff. If you're not shopping at Aldi, you should definitely check them out because you would really be surprised at some of the stuff that you find there. It's really good, really good quality stuff. So that's where I saw this. Um, and if you have an Aldi in your area, okay. That was dramatic. <laughs> if you have an Aldi in your area and you're interested in one of these, they should still have some because I recently picked this up. It was in this week's um, sales spread, so I just picked this up like, I'd say mm, about four days ago. So it should be more. Um, I'm just going to take everything out and then I'll go through. It should be more depending on how your location works, but... For mine, when there's something good, you find something good, you have to get it because it does not last long. So, for example, with this one, I saw it and I was like, oh, uh, you know, I have the other Pembroke planner. I also have my Big Happy planner, um, the memory keeping one. I did a video flip through of that as well. And I'm going to have some videos coming up where I do some layouts of that. I plan to use that more as a scrapbook. But anyhow, if you're interested in seeing which one I have, um, I'll link that video for you too so you can take a look at that. But anyway, the point of me saying that is when I saw this, I was hesitant. I wasn't going to get it. And um, I was asking my husband, like, oh, you know, what do you think? He's like, you know, you want it, just get it anyway. And I was like, uh, no, I took it up to the register. I literally let her ring it up and then I changed my mind. And then I got home and I was like, I want that planner. <laughs> so, of course, my husband rolled his eyes and... um. He went and picked it up for me the next day, but I'm glad I did get it. So when you see something at Aldi's that's really good, you want to jump on it because it does not last. So first, uh, let's look at the stickers. So here you can see some nice little sayings here. I'm not bossy, I'm the boss. Pretty cute. I picked this one because of the floral. I love florals and then also purple is my... Um, Purple is my favorite color, so that was played into why I picked this as well. They had another one that was more black, white, and gold um, designed, but I decided to go with this. So, you know, you have go girl, go busy day, hustle and heart will set you apart. Just, you know, really cute, um, cute sayings like that. So we have that set of stickers there. Um, this one here. Oh, this is really cute. So it has some more florals, which is obviously my favorite. This butterfly one is very cute. Coffee, good vibes, very busy. Nice. Okay, I like these stickers. Um, right off, I can tell you the difference between this one and the other planner is um these stickers appear to be like kind of more specific 
um the other ones they had like a color pattern but that was it it wasn't they didn't have many sayings they were more just like graphics so so these have um these have words so here we have numbers i'm presuming this is not dated so you have numbers three sheets of numbers so those are the stickers that it comes with it's a pretty good um a decent start what i found with my um other Pembroke planner that I did pick up from Aldi's was that I stopped making videos doing the layouts because I ran out of stickers. And I mean, if you can't really design it, I'm not a heavy sticker user as far as my layouts and doing those designs, but I do like to have, you know, a nice spread. So when I got low on the stickers, I tried to find more stickers. I wasn't really successful. And so I just stopped filming um, that book. But I want to get back on to that because I did pick up some Big Happy Planner stickers and I figure, you know, what difference does it make where I use them. So um, I want to pick back up on that one as well. And then, like I said, my memory keeping one, um, I'm going to use as a scrapbook. So I have pictures from, you know, trips, pictures from when the kids were babies, like little bit. They're still small, but when they were little babies. So I'm going to start getting into that as well but yeah this is a good start for stickers um one two three four five it's a good start um depending on how much you plan on using stickers you're gonna want to you know find other outside stickers and between michael's and joann's hobby lobby if you have one near you there are enough coupons to where you can get some nice stickers for cheap but yeah that's the one drawback is that it doesn't come with many stickers so this is a good planner um brand on a budget but you'll still have to add to it depending on how much decorating you want to do okay so moving on we have these i believe are magnetic clips yes these are magnetic clips and as you can see we have a heart shape gold heart shape charlotte is showing you the flower one and then we have love so i'm gonna slide those off if you hear any other noise in the background my son is in his room being a little boy and so he's kind of noisy so what um well let me go ahead and show you the cover so think happy it has the purple color that i really like and you see the floor details around so that's very nice um right off the bat i noticed um this is another little uh collection of stickers right here so these are more like tabs like ear marker ones and um yeah, so that's cool to, you know, mark specific things. I have in mind, I have a big project coming up for the next few months. And so I wanted something specifically dedicated to that so that I can keep myself um, organized and on track. I have other planners. I have a board on my wall. I'm going to do like an office space tour so you can see my whole setup. But I use all of those, but I wanted, this is a big project and I wanted something specifically for it to make sure that I stay on track. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be using this for. But right off, I can notice, um, I notice these rings right here. And um, these, again, remind me of the Big Happy Planner rings. They're a little bit thinner, but that's fine. But the point being, you can slide the papers out like you just saw me take off. Like you can go like this, um, you know, and just pop it off. The other pen book planner that I got from all these, you could not do that. So you had to like flip back and forth. I mean, it's a minor thing, but this is definitely, I would view as more convenient. So let me slide Charlotte over here a little bit. So right here, you can see the inside has the purple polka dots. And then we have this all glam planner belongs to 2019 and 2020. So I guess it has a name. I didn't really pay attention to what they were calling it. um anyway but you you can see on the back of the box when you buy it everything that it comes with so that's a good thing too because they had different options so go ahead and start flipping through here oh well, first you see the full year calendar in dates nice floral detail around top of those here we have currently and it has reading planning watching cooking Eating, drinking, pinning, crafting, going, loving, dreaming, feeling, listening, and celebrating. Well, that's really nice. I like that. Kind of check in with yourself. Takes um, 
yeah, I like that. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that thought, but I just think this is a nice way to check in with yourself and, um, you know, just see how you're feeling. Special events, always a good section. Important dates, monthly goals, projects, and then August birthdays. So super cool. And then the first divider, I don't, I always forget the actual like planner terms um, for certain things. So, but um, this, I call it a divider. So this has a zigzag pattern. Hold on, let me reset my daughter's little tablet here. Buy me some time to finish this little flip through. All right, so the first divider here says, don't call it a dream, call it a plan. And first we start off, of course, with the month um, calendar. It's a space on the side for notes little spaces in here and this already I like because it's basically just days of the week as you can clearly see and then it's just the um it's just the empty space notes on the side so that is why they gave you the numbers so that you could add the numbers where you need them to be that's, so that's really cool I like that um you won't have the sense of like, or oh, if I mix the week, I can't use that space. Even though I would use the space anyway, I would just cover the dates up and change it to what I needed it to be, just so not to waste. But that's good that it is already set up that way. So it looks like you keep flipping through. You just have the same thing up for the month. Then you get to the last page of the month. And again, you have what you had in the beginning, all the currently doing section, projects, so on and so forth. So that's the same there at the end. So a nice recap for the month. Then the next divider is this cute little purple, like violet type of a print. And then same thing. So this looks like pretty simple and straightforward, but it is a nice, um, a nice card stock. I will say it's definitely not anything I would worry about not holding up. But for $8.99, you can't beat this. Like $8.99 is less than the price you would pay for a big happy planner booklet of stickers. So you get a whole setup here. So that's really cool. And I'm sure, I don't know for certain, but I would think that you could utilize certain accessories that you may find on sale from the big happy planner with this planner like the expandable um rings or you know things like that I, I would think that could be able to work out so here we have like a little witch for october uh oh no this is september um so yeah i mean that's okay not my favorite design but i guess it's supposed to be looking towards halloween now this divider right here let me make sure you guys can see that this one is really cute. So it has like a denim, like chambray type of background. It says work hard, dream big. And I love this little floor detail around. This one is very pretty. Once again, we have our monthly calendar and our empty spaces. So let me just see, because I think, yeah, all the pages, in between the each month are the same it looks like which is fine um it's a cute color palette i really like it mama i think the battery just died hold on okay so it's a cute color pattern i like it i don't mind that those pages are the same i mean that's when you're gonna bring in you know your little personality with your stickers but this also works well for the project that i'm gonna be using it for as well because I didn't want too much fuss. Um, I want to really focus on what I'm using it for and not get like, you know, not get all into the decorating part and then I'm not being useful with it. So anyhow, I don't mind that fact. Once again, we have our ending page, same information. This has a cute floral print as well. This one is, this divider is tie dye. So that's also cute. This is a very, a very cute planner, very stylish. I like it a lot. Um, we have some leaves, tie-dye leaves for October, I mean, November. And 
So as you can see, this is what I meant by the pages coming out. If you have other planners, you know what I'm talking about. So I really like that because then you just get it, slide it right back in there. That makes it a lot easier when you're doing your dashboard or your layouts. You can just pull the pages out. Charlotte is trying to get to my stickers. Hold on, Mom, we can't have those. You wanna draw a picture? Hmm? <laughs> All right, so let's just go ahead to the next month. Since we know all those pages are the same, I'm just gonna um, skip ahead. It's hard doing this with one hand. Okay, so I'm gonna try to skip ahead. Okay, so the end of this one has like a little blue, it kind of looks like snowflakes, um, but same there, that ending page to recap your month. This one for December says, throw kindness around like confetti. And it has like a little sprinkles background, so that's really cute. Let's go on ahead to January, because we know what the, it's gonna look like. Uh, Happy New Year, monthly end recap. This is like a kaleidoscope. It's lots of purples in here, which I said I really like because that's my favorite color. So that is really cool. The background here seems to be a little different. It looks like um, some confetti. So I think each monthly, um, complete monthly beginning calendar that's in the beginning of the section has a little bit of a different background. And then when you get to those interior pages, they are the same. Okay, so let's see. So the end of January says, follow your heart. And I like that, you know, it's just nice little sayings at the end of each month. And then we have the love here. Um, pretty plain white background, but they did put the floral detail inside of the letter. So I like that. And then we have hearts, obviously I'm guessing for Valentine's. So that's really cute. I'm really happy with this. This is a very nice planner. Like I said, definitely worth the $8.99 for sure, but it doesn't compromise like on style or anything like that. You definitely can get the vibe of those more expensive planners within a reasonable budget. So that is very nice. This is somewhat of like a tribal um, type of print, I guess the only way I could think to describe it. This is cute, it has like a watercolor background for that. That is the month of March and just some florals for the um opening calendar so that's cute um again the reason i'm skipping the interior portions where they have like um you know day by day is because those pages are the same the background are this are the same for each month so again the monthly end cap this one is a little more plain but it's still cute this one says choose happy and you have a heart of florals. This again is like a watercolor print. And then we just have some polka dots for the opening calendar. Now we're gonna skip ahead, excuse me, to May. And just gonna look at the ending one first because these, the ending ones here, this ending um, page is usually different. And this has a nice floral. So I definitely kept the florals going throughout which I really like. This has kind of like a tie-dye effect in its opening calendar, so that's cool. Let's take a look at the last page. Now this is the first month that's actually plain. This is for May. Um, so yeah, nothing too special there. And then June says, you are amazing. We have another purple heart and then the stripes behind. This is so random, but my daughter had a little outfit. Um, she, she'll be two in November, but when she was like six months or something, she had a little outfit that had pants to go. It was my favorite outfit to put on her. And the striping was like this on the pants. So this just reminded me of that. This is really cute. I like that a lot. And then here, this has, they look like blossoms, almost like cherry blossoms, but I'm sure that's not the correct flower, but it gives that vibe. So. That's very soft and nice for June. And then we have the last page. 
of June. These pages are not that hard, hard to turn, by the way. It's just because, like I said, I'm doing it with one hand. And my daughter has decided she wants to nurse right now. So, um, yeah, they turn easily. I'm just one-handed. And then uh, this has, those look like palm trees. So that's really cute for that there. And then let's see what else we have going on. Um, let me switch her around. So then for July, we have this nice flower cluster. That one is cute. These seem a little bit lighter than the previous. So that will be the only difference there. And then, yeah, that's the last, that's the last month. My son is trying to whisper. He brought me a bow to put in his sister's hair. All right, thank you, bubby. Okay, so this one is definitely a little different in terms of uh, like the watercolor backsplash for that count, for the opening calendar. A little plain, the other ones are more detailed. And then you just have your same, um, same style pages as the previous month. Going over to the back and see what they have because the last planner had like some extra pages at the end. So let's see what this has. Although I don't think it does. It looks just like the same inserts. And on the last and final page here, you have a section that just says notes. You can see right there, there's some lined paper. And then we have, again, the polka dot. So it's definitely easy maneuvering compared to the other one the other one had go check out that video is it was definitely a good planner but i feel like they've made some improvements as far as like what we expect planners to look like now and um that first one had more so of a it had a notebook feel to it like the binding it had the metal notebook binding and so when you had to turn it around um, when you had to flip it over, it wasn't that smooth. So anyhow, there is my planner flip through. Again, this is a Pembroke brand planner. I did purchase this planner from Aldi's grocery store and it was $8.99. Definitely cannot beat that price. These are the stickers again that were included and also these magnetic clamps which i'm guessing um they just open like this and then it isn't a magnet so i'm guessing what you would do with that is if you had like some papers you wanted to attach in here like um a sticky note or something i'm guessing that you would just put it over the top and um the magnet would hold it in place so yes here's this i'm very happy with it as i said i think it's very nice quality it's definitely worth giving it a try and you really can't beat it for eight dollars and 99 cents so thank you all for watching please tune in i'm going to be doing some layout videos um i in the previous planner videos i've done i did before and after pen this one, since it's such a specific project, I don't know if I'll do it after pen, but I probably will show the layouts um, before pen, just so you can see how I put everything together. I definitely think I'll be mix mixing and matching some of these stickers with some of my ha Big Happy Planner stickers. Um, yeah, so just take a look at back at those videos so you can see everything I have, everything I'll be working with. I'm definitely a person that like mixes and matches. Um, I love a good deal. And so anytime that I find something that's a great price and great quality, you know, I'm going to grab it. And so I think this was one of those times. And as well, as you'll hear me talk about in the video with the Big Happy Planner that I got, um, I only got that one because it was like severely discounted. And then the stickers at a point were like... Um, buy one get one free and then I think I had an additional coupon so yeah that's how <laughs> I came to have those I definitely like planning um you know I love all of the detailing and everything that goes into it but it can get rather expensive and so that's why I wanted to show you all 
you know, nice options like this to where you can still be a part of the, the planning community and you don't have to feel like you're spending too much money. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.